Recently, the opposition parties have put up the issue of calf serum in Covaxin, a COVID-19 vaccine developed by Bharat Biotech. In a tweet, Congress Party's National Coordinator for Digital Communications and Social Media, Gaurav Pandey, had brought up this very issue. Pandey shared the response of the government to an RTI filed for information on Covaxin. So today, let's discuss about whether Bharat Biotech's Covaxin contains newborn calf serum. No. The vaccine is developed using whole virin inactivated vero cell derived platform technology which in turn means that it consists of the deactivated form of the covid-19 virus to trigger the protective immunity in the human body the genetic material of the virus in the vaccine is destroyed by multiple factors like heat or chemicals so they cannot infect cells and replicate any further since the vaccine is basically an inactivated form of the virus its mass production requires fast replication of the covid-19 virus scientists need to grow cells in the laboratory for this very purpose they need to provide conditions like nutrients and several growth factors that allows the cell to divide and turn into the required specific cell type an embryo is naturally rich in all these growth factors and this is where the serum from the newborn calves comes into this entire picture Different kinds of bovine and other animal serum are standard nutrient enrichment ingredients for the growth of vero cells. After the growth of vero cells in the serum, the vero cells are washed away with water as well as with chemicals several times to remove the serum completely. Then these vero cells are infected with the coronavirus for their viral growth. And in the process of the viral growth, vero cells are completely destroyed. Next, the grown virus is also killed or inactivated and purified. This killed virus is then used to make the final vaccine. And in the final vaccine formulation or production, no calf serum is used. Hence, the final vaccine or co-vaccine does not contain newborn calf serum at all. And calf serum is not an ingredient in the final vaccine product, reads the clarification from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare as well. Also this particular information about the serum was by no means hidden from the public domain. A research paper released by ICMR and Bharat Biotech together clearly mentions all this information. Covaxin is developed from a live inactivated coronavirus. Oxford vaccine Covishield on the other hand used a chimpanzee common cold viral vector that delivers the code that allows the cells to make the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. But cultures around the world have traditional restrictions regarding the usage of different animal products. And if we consider our country in India, violence against nature including all the animals is culturally discouraged. However, if we consider cow, it holds a special place amongst all of them. Even though the vaccine does not contain serum from calves, the usage in of the same in the production or formulation of the vaccine might be a concern for some. In these contemporary times, the standard practice is to collect blood from the calf within a duration of 3 to 10 days of its birth. According to the website of the Food and Drug Administration of the United States, cow components are used mainly because cows are large animals and are easily available and also rich in some of the useful chemicals and enzymes too. The cow serum is simply popular or widely available due to the availability of large cattle farms in countries like New Zealand, Australia and the United States. It is also a byproduct of the global dairy community. But there are also other more animal friendly options which are available. And if those options are considered, they are more expensive and require highly specialized labs. The global community can look into it to enhance the ethical value of the modern biological research. The real issue however here is the sensationalism and the misuse of cultural sensibilities of the people at large to create a vaccine hesitancy. Such attempts just to discredit the ruling dispensation can have serious effect on our fight against the coronavirus pandemic. The ill-intended comments regarding cow slaughter over the manufacturing or formulation of co-vaccine, stalking Hindu-phobic Gaumutra jibes and the communal rhetoric is not only detrimental for our fight against the covid-19 pandemic but also insensitive and reckless given the facts or historical facts that surround this very issue